the Sukhoi Su-57, Russia's premier fifth-generation stealth fighter jet, has captured the world's attention as a symbol of Russian aerospace technology and military prowess. Although its development has been plagued by delays and budget constraints, the decision to focus on upgrading its engines rather than redesigning its exterior has raised questions. Why is Russia prioritizing the inside over the outside? Here are some of the reasons behind this strategic choice. The first reason Russia only upgraded its engines is because its stealth design has been optimized. The current Su-57 design incorporates stealth features such as integrated wing body aerodynamics, serrated edges, and radar absorbent materials. While it doesn't achieve the same level of radar signature reduction as American aircraft such as the F-22 Raptor or F-35 Lightning II, its design balances stealth with aerodynamic performance. Redesigning the airframe to reduce its radar signature would not only be expensive, but it could also sacrifice other aspects of its performance, such as maneuverability and speed. Russian military doctrine emphasizes a multifaceted approach to combat, where stealth is important but not the sole determinant of success. Reason 2 is engine performance as the main weakness. Initially, the Su-57 was powered by the AL-41F1 engine, an evolution of the Su-35 engine. While reliable, this engine did not provide the required thrust-to-weight ratio or supercruise capability. Sustained supersonic flight without afterburners, expected of a fifth-generation fighter. The introduction of the Isdali 30 engine was a game-changer. The new engine offered more thrust, better fuel efficiency, and greater reliability, allowing the Su-57 to match or exceed the performance of other Western aircraft in key areas. Prioritizing the engine ensures that the aircraft can perform at its best in combat scenarios. The third reason why Russia only upgrades its engines is because of cost-effectiveness. Developing a fifth-generation fighter jet is an expensive endeavor, and Russia has faced significant economic challenges in recent years, including sanctions and budget constraints. A complete redesign of the Su-57 airframe would require a significant investment in research, development, and testing. Focusing on engine upgrades allows Russia to increase the aircraft's combat effectiveness without incurring the high costs associated with external redesign. This pragmatic approach is in line with the country's resource management strategy. The fourth reason Russia is only upgrading its engines is because of tactical philosophy. Unlike the United States, which places a heavy emphasis on stealth in its air combat strategy, Russian philosophy places equal importance on agility, firepower, and survivability. The Su-57's design reflects this balance, and further improvements to stealth could diminish other capabilities. Additionally, Russia views the Su-57 as part of a broader integrated air defense network. Rather than relying solely on stealth, Russian doctrine emphasizes electronic warfare, long-range sensors, and layered air defenses to compensate for any deficiencies in radar cross-section. And reason number five why Russia only upgrades its engines is gradual modernization. Modern military aircraft are rarely completed after they are introduced. Incremental upgrades are the norm, allowing engineers to incorporate new technologies as they become available. The Su-57's airframe may not have been redesigned, but other systems, including avionics, sensors, and weapons, 
have undergone continuous upgrades. By adopting a phased modernization approach, Russia is ensuring the Su-57 remains competitive without requiring a complete overhaul. Future iterations of the aircraft may include further refinements, but these will likely be driven by technological advances and operational feedback rather than cosmetic changes. Russia's decision to focus on upgrading the Su-57's engine while retaining its existing appearance reflects a calculated trade-off. By enhancing the fighter jet's performance with the new Isdali 30 engine, Russia addresses a critical shortfall while avoiding the high costs and risks associated with a complete redesign. This approach not only aligns with the country's strategic and economic realities but also underscores its commitment to developing a versatile and capable fifth-generation fighter. As the Su-57 continues to evolve, it remains a testament to Russia's ingenuity in balancing performance, cost, and strategic priorities in an increasingly competitive global defense market.